It's time to pay attention to our brushwork, as it's one of the essential things that we will use constantly and consistently with Photoshop. Tools that use a tip similar to the brush are not only just the clone stamp, healing brush, eraser, dodge and burn tools, history brush, etc. Many tools have options similar to the brush, so let's examine them. Let's use the basic brush tool for our example. In the settings bar above, notice that there are also options to choose not only the size of the brush, but also its hardness. We can also choose different types of brushes that simulate real brushes. We can choose from brushes of different sizes and shapes. There are brushes with circle, square, leaf shapes, etc. Let's use the round brush for this example. Drawing with this brush, you can see that it leaves a firmer line. That's because this brush we chose was set to 100% hardness. In comparison, let's pick a brush with a hardness of zero and draw a line similar to the one before. You can see that the result is quite different and there's none of the hard line left. Because when we work and have to make changes to the brush and its hardness often, every time you need to choose these options from the settings above, it's more difficult and time consuming. So the easiest option is to right click on the tool to change what you want while working with the tool you choose. Another, even easier alternative is to use the large bracket keys, the ones that are located just to the right of the P key on your keyboard. Other common options, not only when using brushes, but also with other tools, are opacity and flow, or in other words, transparency. If I reduce opacity to 25%, the effect won't be as strong and you can see through it. Flow works in a similar way. However, the difference between the two can be seen while working with opacity while continually holding down the mouse key. As many times as we cross the mouse cursor in the same place, the setting will stay at 25%. We need to release our held down mouse key to draw above it a second time so that the effect may be repeated. However, with flow, you don't have to lift your finger to begin this effect. So, as many times as we draw above the same point, the effect will stack.